a teen's rug pull man it's so good man it's so good like people say like man don't do this kind of shit don't do this kind of shit but look at that look at that that thumbnail gaming <laughs> <laughs> sorry guys i can't help it i can't help it i just can't help it people will say that shit anyway i never learned i'm sorry guys self-cancellation here we go again let's go boys <laughs> let's go let's go boys hi guys oh yeah let's watch this video together guys i'm gonna react to my own video um, let's watch it together with you guys. Hi guys, this is the thing, and um, picked the right timing to make this video. YouTube removed their dislike button, so uh, after all these years, no content, and now asking for your money <laughs> you'll edit right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. the reason why i'm making this video is because we're making a lot of progress but not fast enough i want to be fully transparent with you guys and explain you guys what's going on so people that are you know been watching me for a long time and such can just make up their own mind and see to which extent they want to help us out basically for those that don't know i've been working on a game clash of streamers for the past five years with people that came over from the stream Game is right now on the App Store and also on the Android Play Store. We're a top grossing game. Top grossing game doesn't mean that much at this point. Last month we made around 30k. This month we will make around 100k, I think. Things are looking really bright, but the problem is that in order for us to ramp up, we just need more funding. Right now we're spending about $100,000 on ads. We will see it back in around four to six months. Basically, we can't just wait for the money to come back to put back into ads. It would take us way too long to make Clash of Streamers more mainstream. There's more to it because Clash of Streamers is in a, a play to earn game that has full NFT integration where you know you can just export your, your progress and stuff. It's a very popular format. Like we really you know came out with it on the right time. The issue though is that right now the level of adoption is very low because it's really all driven by advertisement it's not like word of mouth yet it's not snowballing yet in order to get to that point which we will we just need to market the game more that's on one end on the other end what we also have is like we just also like to be listed on exchanges have our own dubi visa card and such and we can do all these projects we're actually working on them the problem is that they just require insane amount of liquidity, like hundred thousands of dollars left and right. There's only so much resources we can allocate into that because ads are performing so well, we rather put the money there. So if we want to start snowballing the project quicker, we just need external funding, people that actually get into, you know, what we're doing. And that's why I'm making this video. Before I reach out to investors, I want to make my viewers aware. And more so what I value is People that have a connection to the Athene brand and the projects I've done will also be more inclined to support projects in the future rather than just seeing it as, you know, I put money in, I get more money out. And uh, people that then gain a lot of funds because of our projects becoming more successful will also be much more inclined to give back. That's just always been my mindset towards this. And that's why I've always been very reluctant to reach out to investors, even though the numbers that we have are just crazy. Like I, I talk about it on the live stream every day. I wouldn't even mind showing people the dashboard even live and stuff. I'm very transparent about these things. We are at a point where we want to ramp up quicker. The more funding we have, the quicker we can ramp up. For the people that are interested, what I would say is to go to clashestreamers.com, check out the game. You can also check prps.io and I know that that, you know nowadays so many influencers are doing rug pulls but for people that have been following me since the get-go you guys know that i've always been you know working hard and putting my actions where my mouth is or putting my money where my mouth is we've been working on this game like it's not easy to publish a game and people have called me a scammer saying like oh yeah this purpose it's a scam five years ago i said that i was going to make a game and was going to come out with it now the game is out it's on the app store and it's on the play store and it's really performing very well i would say do your own research draw your own conclusions if you're interested you can also reach out to us we're also now on pancake swap and on 
Uniswap and on CoinGecko. But we want to ramp it up. We want to be on more bigger exchanges and stuff. Like we also want to get listed on Coin Market Cap. And I also just want to reach out to people that are into the crypto scene and have the proper network and such because. From my experience, so much of the scene is just a fugazi. I've been focusing on a real product and the only thing so far I can rely on is the transactions from the game. We put certain amount of money into ads and we get it back. But when it comes down to all the crypto stuff, it's been a much harder road. But I do think with, you know, once we're listed on major exchanges and stuff, and we are even in talks to be listed, things will move much quicker, but we just need funding for that. Numbers wise, what I would like to aim for is $5 million. Maybe I shouldn't say that. By the way, if you don't have $5 million, I mean, it doesn't have to be one chunk, you know. We can crowdsource it. <laughs> <laughs>